I will go over water breathing for you. So, the first move, Water Surface Slash, user generates enough momentum to create a powerful single concentrated slash. Now I'm going to read off of the Trello, because it's different. The user slightly dashes forward and does a horizontal slash in front of them. And then the in-game variant, which is just, you know, like that. And just so you know, I do have like max breathing or whatever, so yeah, I, I can't show you that. Actually, I don't know if I do, because I need a game pass for that. Ha ha ha, that's fun. Anyway... After that, we are going to use our second move, which is Water Wheel. I'm going to read off the Trello one first. The user spins into a Water Wheel, bringing you to your enemies. This is Cursor Aimed. And the move can be held down, increasing the duration of the attack. Uh, I should also explain that. Uh, water Surface Slash is not a block break, and Water Wheel will not be a block break, since we won't be using it on someone who can actually, you know, defend themselves. So, let's see. Water Wheel. User vertically spins forward in the air while releasing a flowing attack in a circular motion. So, let's go ahead and use this now. Huh, yeah. Oh, we've actually got some test dummies now. Ooh, that's a little bit tempting, but I'm going to do it on stuff that doesn't fight back, because we are going to be fighting Asabi Joe twice. Then the third move is the actual move that isn't real. This is an improvised move. Every other move is real, but their form name is wrong. So I explained it more in my streams when I first played this game. The logs are on my sub channel, Lamb Trainer, if you want to ever, like, go ahead and watch those. Not a lot of people do, I'll be honest. Like, <laughs> they're, like, two hours long. Anyway, the third move is Water Serpent. The user unleashes a Water Serpent to where the enemy is. The move can be Cursor aimed, and the move is not a block break. The same... Uh, oh, I already said wa uh, Water Wheel is not a block break. I already said that. Ugh, I'm getting confused. Anyway, thanks, Grow. So, Water Serpent, let's see. A Serpent in the Shape of Water is released by the user, creating a minor AoE on impact. And we're just going to go and throw this, like, over here. Yeah. And it is just in the shape of a Serpent, just like that. And then our fourth move, uh, it says drop Ripple Thrust on the Trello, but as you see here, it's just Ripple Thrust, so I'm going to say Ripple Thrust. Fourth move, Ripple Thrust, the user slightly dashes forward and unleashes a Ripple Thrust to your enemy. This move can be aimed depending on the direction your character is facing, and is not a block break. And if we read this one, user performs a fast and accurate stab, which is just... Actually, maybe it is drop Ripple Thrust, because I went off the Trello for when I said if something's wrong or right, but anyway... Then the fifth move is Waterfall Basin. The user quickly jumps in the air and unleashes a Waterfall Basin when landing. The move is Cursor Aimed, and it is a Block Break. And then Waterfall Basin here. User cuts vertically in a flowing motion from the air, fully engulfing their opponent in a Tower of Water. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And we're just going to go ahead and go here. This is like a semi-transportation move. It's very nice, to be honest. And then our last move, Constant Flux. The user unleashes a Constant Flux of water onto the enemy. It is aimed where we are facing, and it is a block break. And then Constant Flux here. The user performs a continuous flowing attack, which seemingly takes the form of a water dragon. And it is a block break. And this is a 10% drop from the boss Giyu, who you can find near the Butterfly Estate Building. So, we're going to go ahead and use this now, which is kind of, yeah, 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 looks just like that, and it's really good. So, now that you know all the moves for water breathing, starting off, we have the thunderclap, even though it's just thunderclap and flash, so, we put our things like this, down, down, and wazam, just like that, and it looks good, but that's really just going to be the only move that probably looks good, because after that, we have a completely improvised move, heat lightning, which... I don't know why, but guess what? At, uh, what is this, 20, no, 16 Master, you get Heat Lightning, which is a Thunder Projectile. You throw lightning out of your sword. I don't think Zangatsu or Kaigaku have, they don't actually. I looked this up when I was on stream first playing the game. I d These are improvised moves from this point on. Improvise, improvise, improvise. This is just out of One Piece, and then this is actually Zenitsu's move. So, I don't like Thunder Breathing that much, but anyway. Rapid Slashes at 20 Mastery is quite literally just tons of slashes. This is probably Thunder's, like, best move in terms of just utility. And then Rumbling Thunder at 26 is gonna be... Hold on, what is this? I don't know what the actual, like, name of it is. Um, I didn't read these. Thunder Clap and Flash. Unsheathed their Katon dash forward up blinding uh, speeds to damage their opponent. Heat Lightning. User unleashes a long range sword slash made of lightning. That is a lie. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Rab Slash is used swiftly. Pulls the Katon and performs furious sword slash attack. And then Rumbling Thunder. And then something else. Alright, so it's Rumbling Thunder. It's Rumbling Thunder Bolt. Usually does a teleportation zigzag pattern. Dashing past the opponent and back which the second dash leads into the air then does a devastating thunderstrike through their body simultaneously with a ground slam knocking the opponent down uh or it's just you know you know kind of just like a 
like a projectile forward and then a slam like i don't i don't know why you said all that but whatever and after that is rice spirit by releasing arches of lightning and fast succession users spreads their awareness and strikes anything inside the field in an instant this is just the one piece move that zoro does i think it's called onigiri when you kind of like you know and then anything inside the circle gets sliced up so we'll actually use that later and then finally we've got thunderclap and flash right thunderclap and flash sixfold yeah and then just as description not available because this is just thunderclap but better boom now finally something i forgot to mention with thunder breathing which is a good reason for me to pull out the trello is that if you have a gatamasu uh clan you'll get a slayer skill a clan skill called Godspeed Mode, gives you a better dash and buffs all your thunder moves, which is exclusive to Thunder Breathing and Agatamasu Clan. I will show you the actual moves of the Insect Breathing. The first move is Jawbreaker, you get this for free. It's a basic up and then down slam. Yeah, you get this at the start, this is how you're gonna be improving your mastery, it's nothing whatever. I am definitely not going into detail about how much breathing anything takes, okay? That is way too difficult. <laughs> then the next one at 17 is uh, Tree Flutter. Oh, uh, let's see. I should talk about, like, the stuff on Jawbreaker. So, Jawbreaker, user ducks and rise up with a force strong enough to drive the enemy upwards with the user's sword. And then Tree Flutter. At Mastery 17, the user dashes at their target with a blinding speed into a single thrust into their opponent. Yes, into a single thrust into their opponent. It says that. It says that. That's what it says, so I gotta say it. And this is at 17 Mastery, might I say. And there you go. That's basically your dash move. It's actually pretty good compared to some other stuff, because honestly. Like, we had Flame Breathing, which does the dash and then slash. And then we had Water, which is the dash and the slash. I think Mist had a normal dash, too, which was pretty good. So, yeah. And then after that, we've got, at 23 Mastery, we've got Compound Eye Hexagon, I'm assuming. A uh, six-strike attack with which the user aims to strike and inject their target with multiple doses of poison. Now, don't let that lie to you. Insect Breathing actually does not come with poison. It is a lie. So we'll do this. Multiple strikes, doom thing barrage. It's just a barrage. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's a pretty good one. Um, also, we'll have a special M1 to show off with this katana as well. And then I think at like 28, yeah, 28 mastery is the dance of the centipede, I think. I'm pretty sure it's dance of the centipede. Like, I want to say this end at centipede. The user uses their full speed to run a zigzag pattern to create an opening for them to directly stab their opponent's neck. Their opponent's neck? Okay. Well, this is basically just like a little dash forward. So we kind of like, if you hold it, you can keep doing this. I don't know for how long, but there you go. It's just another like small dash thing. I usually just use it in the combo to just do another stab, but teach their own and the mantis kick i actually cannot show you right now because mantis kick is actually a counter it's at 35 mastery a counter where the user does a 360 kick after being attacked m1s only yeah it's a counter that's restricted to m1 so it's not exactly the best so let's try this one again hold on whoa. oh oh whoa. there goes the counter boom there you go it's a kick wow that's such a useful move that requires me to use my my demon slayer breathing everybody yep that's what it does bam and as you see they are Oh, they are poison. Wait, what? People in the second map didn't get poison. What? It, when, when did this become a thing, huh? Maybe it's a one map only type thing? All right. I guess I shut up then. All right, whatever. Sure. And then after that, we've got Caprice, which is at 46 mastery and a 10% drop from Shiron, who will be fighting. The user jumps into the air, dealing a devastating ultimate thrust that seemingly takes the form of a giant butterfly. So we'll go, ah. Oh. And they see we look like this and then slam down. So guess what? It's just a better version of Jawbreaker. Yeah, you got two slam down moves. It's kind of whatever. I'll actually show you this. And as you see, yeah, Wind Mastery is only at 52 for me, which is kind of new because in these videos, I've kind of been going up to like 100 or so and actually playing with them for a little bit, but that's just how it is. And again, now I also have like the uh, like numbers down for everything. So we'll start off with Purifying Wind. The user lifts the sword above their head and unleashes a vertical slash downwards, which is actually kind of a lie because I'll do this and I'll actually send out a little projectile. Yeah. So, I do that and then also the projectile, so I don't know what that's about, but after I've got dust- Oh god. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Maybe Dust Whirlwind Clash? I don't know what the full name of this is. Um, uh, you know what? Actually, I'll cheat. I'll pull up the, the Trello. 
for this. I need to know what the full name is. Okay, it's Dust Whirlwind Cutter. So this is Dust Whirlwind Cutter. The user dashes forward at blinding speed while spinning and slashes continuously in a horizontal cyclone. And you get this at 15 mastery. It says continuously, but that would mean you get rapid hits. This is just a one hit with also a terrible camera angle that I am going to have to redo. Thanks a lot, Tree. I despise you. So it says continuously, which would mean you get rapid hits, but this is literally just a one hit dash. This is essentially just your dash move, which in the case of wind breathing, you're going to be using this a lot. So yeah, just that. Nothing crazy. We've got clean storm wind. St no, clean storm wind tree. Okay. Clean storm wind tree. The user unleashes a horizontal whirlwind slash around their body. This is the one that does a lot of damage I was talking about. And you get this at 22 mastery. Wazam. So that's like essentially your good move. That's like the best move you've got. And after that, we've got Black Wind Mountain. No, Black Wind Mountain Mist. My bad. And that is at 30 mastery. The user rotates their body in an uppercut movement, creating an arcing slash, which is just this, which might have been what uh, Flame Breathing's first, like rising, whatever it is was reused from instead of like something for water because again flame breathing is quite literally just copy and pasted from stuff like it is nothing new and then after i've got cold mountain wind the user spins in a circular motion generating a circular wind effect and that is at what 37 yeah 37 and this is like yeah 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 like that move is another good one that we have here and then lastly at 50 mastery and beating sonomy with a 10 percent drop we get the eta 10 typhoon the user leaps backwards vertically and releases a barrage of sharp cutting winds from his sword so we're gonna like jump up and then shoot down a few slashes and then do a little bit of waiting before shooting the last one and that's really all it is and we will start going over the uh, you really want to start with me okay fine all right so the first move is the the rising scorching sun which is basically a like up tilt type move so go ahead lean this up wham just like that unknowing fire is basically a dash forward fire skill very similar to the first skill in the water breathing move set like so and that did however much it did right there and then blooming undulation is basically a fire aoe like so does 62 damage now obviously you should notice all the stuff i have down there in my bottom right but i'm not wearing my mask right now either and then Blazing Universe is essentially Waterfall Basin, but weaker, being like a downward rising scorching sun. So more like a, a sundown, sundowner, if you will. So let's go and do this like that. It's pretty good. And then we've got Flaming Tiger right after that, which is essentially the uh, constant flow, flux, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has some good sound effects on it. And then after that, finally, we've got Purgatory, which is basically the cutscene move, and you get this from a 10% drop from Rengoku. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do this, hit him away, and then use that. Boom, ba, ba, ya. So that's my cutscene move. I'll start showing the moves. So for starters, you get Pierce at the start. User spins both the katanas in a 360 degree motion and does a dashing Pierce stack with both katanas. This is a, a lie. It's just kind of like a forward motion stab, like, ya. Yeah. There it is. That's, I don't know why it does all that. Like, these descriptions are weird. And we've got Crazy Cutting at 20 Mastery. This is the best one, in my opinion. User's body does a horizontal spin while slicing everything in front of the user. This move is amazing. I love it. This is like the combo starter. It also stuns. It's amazing. I love that move so much. And we've got Bending Slash at 25. Yeah, 25. These go up in fives. It's really good. Another reason why I love Beast Breathing in this game. Uh, the user temporarily dislocates his arm. Oh, it dislocates his arm. Oh, God. And then does an arc horizontal slash. This is Bending Slash. Yeah. This one does is this is one of the damage dealing moves he does does a lot of damage and then next up at 30 i believe yeah 30 we've got the throwing strike the user throws both blades a certain distance which then sticks on any surface or min any material so we'll throw our swords and then if we hit something they'll stick there and if we miss we just kind of throw them they'll come back to us or we'll dash to them you get the general idea of that and after that at 40 i believe yeah this goes up at 10. We'll get Devouring Slash. The user takes a charge stance, which then does a spiraling dash in front of the opponent, and then does a powerful upwards diagonal cut, knocking the opponent. Okay. Um, this is like a... Oh, it has dash now. Okay. Yeah, it's mostly... Oh, if I hold it, it has dash. That's what it is. I was like, normally I just kind of press it, but if I hold it, it does the dashing. I never knew that, actually. See, these showcases teach me things, too. 
And then last but not least, a 10% drop from a no scan with 58 mastery, you will get the devouring rush. The user lunges at the opponent with his sword outstretched before tossing them up in the air, swings his blades up above his head, and an X. This is from the game where we do this little like dash forward, and if we hit them, we'll do a cutscene combo, which we won't actually use until we fight Inosuke himself. I'll go over the moves uh, while I'm not fighting him actually, like I did before. So let's do this real quick, okay? So, we've got Cloud and Haze. The user obscures themselves in a white-ish haze, then vanishes in the mist and reappears in front of the opponent and unleashes a single powerful thrust. Which is really inaccurate, because it's just a dash. Like so. <laughs> uh, that's uh, it's a little bit too much, honestly. And you see the mist that gets left behind that's super, like, hard for players to kind of keep a track of you, actually. Like, I was doing this with my friends and they were having trouble, trouble with uh, seeing the enemies. Then we got the eight layered mist. The user stacks eight slashes on top of each other and does a powerful slash, which outbursts all the slashes in front of the users in one succession. Now, I haven't gone out of my way to see which uh, moves are real or not like I usually do, so I don't know which moves are real or not in this case. If you check the Tokito page on the wiki, you can tell for yourself, but I do eight slashes like that and then eight projectiles, which I'm gonna be honest, I don't think that's real, but that move is really cool, so, you know. Then we got Distant Haze, release a miss around you and stab at the nearest target. So this is basically like a teleport stab. This one's probably his best move, which we can't really see good in this scenario because we're not close enough to him. And then we've got Shifting Flow Flash, slash in a wide sweep, slashing all enemies in an area and range, it says there, which is basically just like a little machine like that, which uh, that one's also really good. I like that one a lot. And then we've got Lunar Dispersing Something. I'm going to assume that's Lunar Dispersing Moon. Leap into the air and release projectiles of compressed mist, which you jump up. you got to hold this in order to use it. So don't make the mistake that I usually do and just press it. And then lastly, we've got the Obscuring Clouds. The user pierces the ground, which shoots out shockwaves of mist while causing a large area to be covered in mist, which the user is silently translucent and way faster. So we basically release a giant cloud AoE like so. We will also become invisible. And while people are stuck in this like mist, they will be slowed down and take damage over time. 